like we're in a time where perfection perfectionism is the in thing like your i don't know your, your makeup has to be perfect your outfit has to be perfect like you're being productive and taking everything off your to-do list That's like so you know true. there's this like being oh and self-care and mm. you know it's just it's it's like toxic positivity right, right like it's there. like you have to have it together mm. you don't have to honey you don't monday you want to just wake up and go to class in your sweatpants do that shit <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. We have a guest, Lean Lubale. Uh, Lean is Kenyan and she goes to school at Moravian College in Pennsylvania. And she is a public health major um, and she's also pre med, just like me. Um, yeah, and I think we. So we were in PB together, and you yeah. know, PB is precious blood into high school in Kenya. Uh, for those of you who are not from Kenya, you yeah. know. Um, so we were in the same school for two years before she left for the US. Um, and we just never spoke. We just Like I told her, she used to walk really fast. So I just, even if I had the chance, I probably would have missed her. <laughs> It's so, yeah, so, yeah. It's a weird habit that like PB, I don't know, it just like forced you to go everywhere really quickly. Yeah. But yeah, so we ended up like finding each other online and we just always, I think it's mostly on like feminist posts. Like That's someone true. Is <laughs> and there's this, I feel like there's this vende of like Kenyan women mm -hmm. who, like who study in the US who... <laughs> We always have something to say. Yeah, That's online. Just, there's always something to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. So, um, what are we doing today? So, makeup. Yeah, we're gonna do our makeup and just talk about, I don't know, different things. Feeling like you need to be well put together, look clean, talk, you know, proper, mm -hmm. and all those things. Yeah, yeah. And whether, I don't know, like whether that just something that's been like enforced by society or that's mm -hmm. something that we want for ourselves I, I definitely feel like those days like when I wake up early enough and mm -hmm. like I have time to like do a nice like okay maybe not a full face mm -hmm. but like a nice look and I feel good about my day and I even like go to class and I'm more confident okay for me personally like I always wake up sweatpants straight to <laughs> class <clears throat> and I remember I was in biochem and then this guy in my class was like, Lynn, you're a catfish. I'm like, wait, what? You don't look like this online. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, because like I've just never felt the need to be put together like Monday through in Friday. Person. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't say this is a tutorial, we're just showing you. Okay, me, I'm showing you how I do my makeup. So she's using her Fenty foundation. What shade is that? What is this? G? No. 490? No, she's not 490. See, that's what happened to me with Fenty too. So I got, they gave me 450 at first, and then it was just too dark. And then they gave me the next lighter shade, which is a little bit too light. So I have to like always find a compromise. So what we're gonna do is, so I usually mix my lighter with my darker. This is YSL. So I'm gonna, yeah, we're just gonna finesse this And thing. Sephora, you need to stop doing that shit. Like yeah, when a dark skin woman walks into your store, you automatically up. like go, should I use my... Yeah, they usually start from, yeah, like, from the, the darkest, darkest shade. And, like, and I'm like, honey. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong. Get, don't, don't. I'm not saying there's anything wrong, but like for real though, like let's be realistic. So as we put on our foundation, so... We were talking earlier about how like being a black woman in the science field and specifically like in medicine we're talking about like how suddenly at least for me i just feel the need to be so well put together so organized from the way i look to the way i speak to the way i carry myself out from the way i sit down I eat like everything like I just it's want a to lot be. of pressure I, I know that. like I feel like I just feel the need to be super like yeah like you're being watched or something exactly yeah. and the one thing that I'm happy about it's like I don't think I'm doing it for anybody I'm actually doing it for me you know what I mean that's like important. I feel like I'll feel good and I'll feel better if that's how I was Ooh. Chanzo is just at our feet. Chilling. I know, I'm so happy like she's calm because 
Chenzo is the most hyper dog I've ever met to do the hotel. Now I you know you kind of have this like Lauren Hill vibe. You know the first one to tell me was epic. I've had like five different people tell me so it looks cool. like Lauren. Hill. Yeah, it's so cool. Do you know the has best African. compliment I've ever had? Uh -huh. I look like Naomi Campbell. I see that too. <laughs> I do! <laughs> that one took me out. I remember it was actually on my birthday and I was at a restaurant and she was like, oh my god, you're like baby Naomi. I was like, oh, is this person white? No. Black. So, okay. She's, a, she's actually very educated. She's a professor. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that, that's a valid date. <laughs> because I was like, <laughs> yeah. if, because Naomi, I feel like Naomi Campbell is like a very popular, like black figure. I know. Even in white culture. I and feel like she was problematic, yeah. like when? A white person like compares you to that because like that's like their idea of like what a beautiful like black person should look like. Yeah, black person, dark, dark, dark skin. skin. Yeah. Person. Gosh, we should first of all this whole light skin, dark skin debate in Kenya. I feel like do you feel like it's always been there or has it become more heated? I think it's always been there. Like if you think about yeah. your childhood and like who the favorite kid was in your neighborhood, like she was probably light skin. Like. The That's favorite, true. like, who ye, like, girl in your class, like, she was probably like. I, I just, I just feel like the continuous, like, external validation, like the, like the closer an, in, a black person is, like, to a lighter complexion, the yeah. more desirable they are. Exactly. Really the closer you are yeah. to whiteness, the more desirable and the more accepted you are. Which is sad. And for me, it's like, in Kenya, which we're actually 99% black. If you look at like the. Mm. CIA website. Oh, we're considered ninety nine percent of the population is black. But then, okay, you might think, okay, depending on where you live, you see a couple more like white people or Indian. Yeah, you might think like maybe Kenya is like really diverse, but no, we're predominantly black. Yeah, and like the fact that you know, even in the media these days, if you look at Kenyan news, most anchors are very light skinned or non-black or foreign and even on the radio like they prefer people who have a more like american accent, accent. yeah i don't know there's there's this time i went back to kenya and like i was listening to the radio i was like wait yeah. where am i like who I what, know. what? Uh, i don't know what you mean it what? makes me mad uncomfortable because i'm like what are you trying to say about us as kenyans yeah, and our and kenyan our culture and exactly. our accent and our and accent yeah. so, like, i feel like if, especially when it comes to the media you're supposed to represent what the majority of the population is you feel me? You're not going. Don't ah. represent what you feel like is more appealing. No, it doesn't. Like we want to see more people who are like us. I don't know. That's just my sentiments. I'm getting emotional. Yeah. Let me do my concealer. Ah uh, yeah. Let so me. we're we're doing concealer next. Yeah. This is a very like talk and do kind of video. Like, wait. <laughs> what 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 is concealer? Where is my concealer? <laughs> what is? <laughs> Oh, I didn't do my eyebrows, guys. Oh, do we do eyebrows first? Yeah. Okay. I forgot to do my brows, which okay. is just like okay. This is woman. Do you see? This is not. This is. These are natural eyebrows. I'm very envious of that shit. So this is how I do my eyebrows. I comb up. Because Lynn, you can't teach me how to do eyebrows because you actually have some. Some of us. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> how do you teach me how to, how to do my eyebrows when you have eyebrows and the rest of us have to? Have you seen this meme like when like your girlfriend or like when a, when a, a lady or like a woman in your life mm -hmm. is being yeah. like rude and then it's like How do you wipe out your <laughs> so funny Hey! I, I think my brother tried to do that to me once Are you serious? I, was like, I will cancel like you right time. now don't even freaking try. So for me, for my eyebrows, for real, what I do is just like um, fill in the gaps. If that makes any sense. Ask me, I create a new eyebrow. <laughs> you know one thing I was thinking about? Being a black girl. And like, do you ever feel pressure to have your edges laid 24 7? Imagine like, I don't. I, I hate I that. I used shit. to, but I don't. And then, you know, the other thing is that also comes to say something about also like. <laughs> about like hair texture. 
Oh yeah, because a lot of us have like 4C, probably even 4Z if it exists, hair and our hair is coarse, it naturally just wants to be free and this pressure where I have to put like 15 different products for my front edges just to be like a little bit more palatable to people is just, it's too much for me to be real with y'all like, I, man but then also I feel like, are we just putting this pressure on ourselves or is it like society? Because I, I usually really think about that when I feel pressured to do something. Like who's really Agency is important because I, even like when we're talking about whether or not you want to be put together and like, like yeah. we're in a phase where, um, and, and like even, cap this is how like capitalism thrives. Yeah. Um, especially like through makeup and beauty products mm -hmm. we there is like we're in a time where perfection perfectionism is the in thing like your i don't know your, your makeup has to be perfect your outfit has to be perfect like you're being productive and taking everything off your to-do list That's like so you know true. there's this, like being oh and self-care and mm. you know it's just it's it's like toxic positivity right, right like it's there. like you have to have it together mm. you don't have to honey you don't monday you want to just wake up and go to class in your sweatpants do that shit and then That's tuesday so if you want to like look pretty i get a lot of weird com like weird comments like mm. why do you always like dress up like even when you're just going to class honey because i want to that's what empowers her agent me sweatpants empowers me okay <laughs> right yeah that freedom to just wake up and just go exactly yeah but then i don't know i've become a bit more self-conscious these days so as long as you're doing it for you as long as like exactly you're that's what i'm saying and it's becoming something that you that's want that's what i'm saying whatever you do but also again i remember in my one of my classes we we're talking about how these days like like you said the toxic positivity it's like it's just about you you know what i mean it's always like you know self-care you know fuck what everybody else thinks kind of mentality you know i got this it's about me i can do it on my own and then we forget like you know we also need to exist as a society and as a community and we need to help each other out and be there for each other it's not just about you so like exactly if you're trying to like read books or listen to like speakers who are motivational speakers like really be careful about the message they're trying to send uh, this whole message of like being an island and you can do it on your own you don't need anybody else like it's not true don't yeah. don't do that not subscribe to that kind of mentality i used to be like that i used to be like i got same. this i got this same this year i think junior year is the first year when i've been intentional about like what kind of people I want like in my life like mm -hmm. who I want surrounding me same and I'm being more vulnerable with actually you know, needing company wanting company and you know messaging people hey come over for dinner or come over like let's do this let's do that I've been the same too it's, it's pretty helpful okay what are we doing next Sunday oh concealer, concealer. Yeah. oh I use the LA pro girl concealer guys this thing it's it's so cheap and it works it does the job how much is it? It's like two dollars. I bought this Mac shit. <laughs> Sorry, I love Mac. <laughs> That's a Kenyan thing. I don't know why Kenyan girls like. If you look at their makeup bag, Mac, Mac, Mac. It's because it's like the only, the only like. It's either because like what else? Clinique. Do you buy? This Clinique. If you have and this Maybelline. I feel like Clinique. Okay, okay, yeah. Maybelline is like Maybelline is not nice. I know. Maybelline I don't know why it's nice, with Maybelline me. has nice mascara. mascara Everything else true. is just weird. Also, please tell me why like we have so many because like even in Kenya, the kind of like products that we have, like there's so many times I walked into a store and they don't have my shade. <laughs> but you have a lot of like lighter like I just I feel like I'm okay. not an exception when it comes to And that's like, what I'm saying. Like me even like Kenya says a lot, like it's like we're not trying to appeal to you like it, it, it just sends a message this is not for you okay we didn't put mac mac in kenya for you it's for those Seven. other people Just go. <laughs> but it works. It's there. 
Okay. As for me, why is that not a good idea? <laughs> why are you swooping? Why not? Just to tap it into oh. your skin so it settles in and it covers you. You know, you think. I don't know, I just find it easier because now it settles into like those fine lines. Anyway, so the baby mama is making oatmeal because I'm hungry. I don't like contouring too much. I really want candy right now. I don't know why. I just have like a strange like craving for candy. Oh, you're recording. Because my skin tone is so dark or whatever, I contour with a lipstick. That's a tip, man. Yeah. From MAC. It's for all our chocolate babes out there. It's called Double Fudge. Um, and it's just it's beautiful. <laughs> My eyes I usually like put a little bit of concealer so I have this um it's the same concealer it's two dollars so I got Tofi it's very light so I just usually put it on my eyes a little bit and then stop putting on my color it makes it pop more makeup I don't know what to do. I just put a shit ton of concealer on my Whenever you say something, you should just be like, proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. Okay. Wow. Yeah, hopefully, we really can fix this with some eyeshadow. <laughs> Shandos of the eyes. We're gonna put some eyeshadow and correct this mistake. Pieces of my palette which is falling over. Oh, this is chance as well. I feel like anytime anything breaks in my house, even though it's my fault, <clears> I just go. Do you know how good that feels to just put responsibility for your own shit just onto someone else? Especially with farts. That, that's a coping mechanism. Farts. All the farting that happens Actually, in this house. Actually, do you think you'd be comfortable farting in front of your man? But I do fart in front of my man. Thank you, that's good problem. Thanks. Is he my man though? Not even that. <laughs> Anyways, whoever he is. Yes. Better, um, better. Wait, is it better out than in? <laughs> That's just those are my sentiments. Like you got you you have to you have to let it out. You have to let that thing out. You have to fart. Oh, all the way this way? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. But you have to be strategic like Oh. Okay, there you go. Gosh, she has so much lid space. Must be nice, isn't it? <laughs> Some of us you just you do this and it's all gone. It's like you never put anything on. It's so disrespectful. <laughs> In my journey of confidence, I don't think I'm there yet where I'm like, I'm gonna put on a blue eyeshadow and not care. I don't like a bright blue. Mm -hmm. Like electric blue. Even hair, like, there's no way I'm gonna do like colored braids. I'm so scared. Me too. But I think like, that's, I don't think that's like a measure of like your level of like confidence. Yeah, but also, exactly. Also, like, my environment does not really accommodate that in the sense of like my job. And yeah, like, being in healthcare, you have to be super conservative sometimes. Cause I think it's very sexist. Uh, oh. But like, it's the system, you know. Yeah, so I have to always be, make sure I'm very like, I have to always make sure I'm very, very presentable. Um, so this is the Power Hungry palette by MAC. Um, and I used this shade right here. Right here. Um, all over my lips. And then I felt like I needed some color, so I used this like glittery red um, at, uh, next to my tear ducts. And then I think I'm ready to do my eyeliner at this point. Guys, I don't know, I'm going for more very, I'm going for a very like natural beat. Something that you can wear on a daily. Yeah, so we're done. This is the final. Oh. Oh. 
gotta go. I'm about to go. Hey! Oh, dark skin girl representation. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys for watching. And make sure you like and subscribe. It's her channel, but I'm gonna do it all. Yeah. So make sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah and um yeah thank you for watching we're just very passionate about dark skin women like representation and that was just a random video mostly by like us talking about life issues while doing makeup <laughs> okay are we gonna do yeah we're gonna do a video on my channel i'm not sure what the video is gonna be about but anyways we'll just like yeah drop it and also in the comments below, let us know what you want us to talk about. Me and his hair look I could always come, I'm like two hours away. Yeah. So. I could do the drawing. Yeah. Alright, I could come over as well. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know. My yeah. place is horrible. Don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you got horses and stuff. <laughs> hair juice. Yeah. Okay, alright, fine. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Okay. Bye!